Hello, I'm Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips for people with acne. Tip number one is make sure to see your doctor. First of all, acne can be caused by an underlying medical condition, such as polycystic ovary syndrome in women. Typically, these women will have irregular periods and other signs of excess androgens, such as um, male pattern facial hair. Women who are suspected of PCOS will have, can be further evaluated by their physician. Also, acne severity can be graded by your physician during the physical exam, and a treatment course based on the acne severity can be designed by you and your physician. Tip number two is wash your face twice daily with Dove or Cetaphil. So these are, um, Dove and Cetaphil are, are both gentle cleansers that should be used in all people to prevent acne and to treat current acne. It's recommended that you wash your face twice a day with warm water and with just your fingers. Don't use a washcloth or loofah sponge because it's too abrasive. Just use your fingers, apply Dove soap or Cetaphil twice daily to keep your face clean. Tip number three, don't pick or scrub. So it's important if you have acne not to pop your pimples or to use any kind of a harsh scrub. The only thing that should come into contact with your face are your fingertips. If you use anything more abrasive or pop your pimples, this can cause acne to be worse and can also cause skin damage. Tip number four, understand the type of skin you have in order to choose the right kind of topical medication. So there's basically gels and creams. Gels tend to dry out the skin. So if your skin is oily, then you and your doctor will probably want to choose a gel. If your skin is dry, then you and your doctor will probably want to choose a cream, which tends to be moisturizing. Also, if your acne covers a large part of your body, then a solution might be the best form of the medication that you use because it's better for large surface areas. Tip number five is Retin-A. So Retin-A or Tretinoin, it comes in a gel or a cream, is recommended for mild acne that's not inflammatory, using it alone. So if your acne is not inflammatory, and basically acne is either inflammatory or not inflammatory, and you can tell by whether or not there's redness. Red acne tends to be inflammatory, or just bumps that are the color of your skin are the non-inflammatory. So if your, skin, if your acne is not inflammatory and it's mild, then Retin-A by itself is effective. It should be applied at night because it's affected by sunlight, and it should be applied to dry skin. You only need to use about a pea-sized amount to, to cover your entire face. And don't use it just on the spots where you see the acne because Retin-A can, because a lot of acne is below the skin and you can't see it until it comes up. Also, Retin-A helps prevent acne. So cover the entire area that you have acne, not just the spots. Also, it's a teratogen, which means it can harm a fetus in a pregnant woman. So women who are pregnant should not use Retin-A. Tip number six is adding benzoyl peroxide. So if your, if your acne is inflammatory and mild, so if there is redness in your acne, then it's recommended that you don't just use Retin-A by itself, that you combine benzoyl peroxide with Retin-A. And benzoyl peroxide can be purchased over the counter. There are many strengths, but all you really need is 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Any higher doses have not been shown to be more effective and can be more irritating. In addition to the topical, ben so you'll, you'll apply the topical benzoyl peroxide 2.5% in the morning and apply the Retin-A in the evening. It's important not to apply them together because the peroxide can inactivate the Retin-A. So you're doing this topical benzoyl peroxide in the morning and Retin-A in the evening. In addition, with inflammatory acne, and this is tip number seven, then you should, you should apply a topical antibiotic. So again, tip number seven is applying a topical antibiotic. Again, if your acne is inflammatory and mild or moderate, so if there's redness in, with your acne, 
then it's important to apply three different medications. One is the Retin-A, two is the benzoyl peroxide, and three is erythromycin. If your, if your acne is mild and not inflammatory, then you'll be fine with just the Retin-A. But if your acne is inflammatory and mild or moderate, then you'll need these three agents. Tip number seven is erythromycin 2%, which is my recommendation for topical antibiotic. It's recommended to be used as, as twice daily. So in the morning, you'll be using the benzoyl peroxide and the erythromycin. In the evening, you'll be using the Retin-A and the erythromycin. This will be effective treatment for mild to moderate inflammatory acne. Tip number eight is adding oral doxycycline. So if your acne is moderate or severe inflammatory acne, so if there's significant redness to your acne, then it's important to stop the topical erythromycin and start an oral antibiotic. I recommend oral doxycycline. This is in addition to the Retin-A and the benzoyl peroxide. Oral doxycycline should be given 50 milligrams twice daily and should be limited to 12 to 18 weeks. If you take it any longer, it can lead to antibiotic resistance. Because doxycycline is photosensitive, it can cause irritation if you take our on our oral doxycycline and are not protected from the sun. So it's recommended that people who are taking oral doxycycline also use um, a sunscreen with SPF or sun protection factor 15 or higher. Also, doxycycline should not be given to children under nine or pregnant women as it can discolor growing permanent teeth and also affect bone growth. So if your acne is moderate to severe inflammatory acne, then you should be taking doxycycline 50 in the morning, erythromycin 2%, I'm sorry, dox, not erythromycin, doxycycline 50 milligrams by mouth in the morning along with benzoyl peroxide. In the evening, doxycycline 50 milligrams by mouth as well as Retin-A. So you're taking three agents, one of them is an oral antibiotic if your acne is moderate to severe. Tip number nine is oral isotretinoin. Oral isotretinoin is recommended for severe or nodular acne or acne that was moderate inflammatory but did not improve with the oral doxycycline. Once you start oral isotretinoin, and it can only be prescribed by certain physicians that are licensed to give it, you should stop the oral doxycycline. It's important to start at a lower dose of 0.5 milligrams per kilogram per day for the first month, then increasing it to one milligram per kilogram Per day after that. And the recommended treatment course is approximately 20 weeks. Because it's a teratogen or can affect the fetus, it's important that women who are taking it are using two forms of birth control and are having monthly pregnancy tests. So if your acne is severe nodular or was moderate but was not treated by oral doxycycline, then you'll be taking the oral isotretinoin, you'll stop the oral doxycycline, and you'll continue to use the benzoyl peroxide. Tip number 10 is to believe in yourself. As you can see, there are many effective options for treatment of acne, and acne is extremely common. 85% of adolescents have it. I hope these tips have been helpful. Thank you very much for listening, and have a great day.